Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to talk about a Photoshop basic that a lot of people uh, kind of use but kind of don't. They, all, uh, they use other different tools in Photoshop to kind of achieve this uh, specific effect. Uh, I'm actually going to cover the hue saturation slider in Photoshop. Uh, this is a really powerful slider, especially if you want to just quickly change the color of pretty much anything in your photo. And uh, the, the one tool that a lot of people actually use for this is actually the selective color. But that one doesn't really let you change things quickly and easily into a specific type of color. So that's why I'm going to choose the hue saturation to change the color of this leaf here. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually make a selection of the leaf. Uh, this part right here, this little tip right here, and this little bottom right portion here. Uh, just for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and load a selection. I already have a selection loaded here of a leaf drawn out. You can see that we have the marching ants around here now. So my selection is loaded. We're going to cover selections in another YouTube video about Photoshop Basics. So for the meantime, this is what we're going to do here. And now what I'm going to do is actually easily just copy and paste what I just selected. So that's a, a really easy way of doing it and isolating a certain object in your photo to, to make the color changes too. So I'm going to click Command and Control C to copy and then Command and Control V to paste. Now you can see over here we have our leaf on its own little layer here. And so we're just going to bring back the original background because we do want to keep the background to it. Now I'm going to go over here to my adjustments and I'm going to choose the hue saturation layer right here. So now this is where we can change the hue, the saturation, and the lightness of our image. So if I click on the hue slider, we can start changing the hue of the leaf color. You can see it's immediately starting to change and it's blending in with the original image, which is really great. If we want to have a really bright leaf, uh, kind of drag it over here. If we want to have a little darker leaf, drag it right here. It really, really is nice. You can actually dull it down a little bit. You can actually pump up the saturation and make it really crazy. And you can take the lightness down as well. Now you can see what we're doing here is our, our effect is actually affecting the leaf and the background. So what we want to do is make a clipping mask. So in between the hue saturation layer and our copy and pasted layer, we're going to hold Alt or Option. And that's going to give you a little icon here when you hover between these two layers. When you click there, it's going to clip that adjustment so it's only affecting the layer below it. So now all of our changes are only happening on that leaf here. You can see what we're doing there, changing the saturation uh, just like that. So now what if we wanted to do some little colorize adjustments? So we click the colorize box and this is kind of blending it in as well. You can see we're able to change this, but we're really dialing in those specific hues and tones to this image. And it's, it's, it's basically whatever color you choose, that's what it's going to be. Whereas before, you're affecting the hues of that image. So here I'm going to kind of go for a nice green leaf here. You can see we're on the green section here. And what's really cool about this, especially when it comes to leaves like this, you can actually watch it change colors on your screen. So for example, we have a nice green leaf. Start dragging it to the left, and it's starting to turn yellow. And it's starting to turn a little darker yellow and now into the red. So it's kind of kind of a cool little effect there, but you kind of get the point. If you were to use the selective adjustment, the selective color adjustment, you would have to select each individual color, so the yellows and the oranges, and start adjust, adjusting the magentas, the cyans, all that kind of stuff in the image. But this is just a very easy way of changing the color of an object and it does a very, very good job. So that is the basics of the hue saturation slider in Photoshop. Hope you enjoyed that quick little tip. And stay tuned for more videos on Sleek Lens about more Photoshop basics if you've had questions in the past. So thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next video.